What you're about to witness is inside stuff. Everybody wants to be a star. Right. From Television Hill in Baltimore. From Central Florida's news leader. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. It's a search through the electronic ether. Bob Opsall, Monica Kaufman, Marissa Morris. A quest for those singular traits which, when combined, form that elusive quality known only as it. 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 I'm looking for it. It is a three-dimensional quality. Looks, voice, charisma. When they don't have it, it's real easy to spot it. It's just it. And you know it when you see it, but you can't describe it. Not this time. He is Bob Jordan, news director of King TV in Seattle. Live from Seattle. <laughs> and this is Don Fitzpatrick, who in a San Francisco office keeps one of the more obscure collections in America. It's a reference library, not of books, but videotapes. Any person on any television station in any market in the country, they have them on videotape. I tell people that we run a glorified dating service for, for television newscasters. What they do in here is the first look, just like if you go into a singles bar. Very good live. She represented? No. Bob Jordan has come to Don Fitzpatrick looking for a reporter. It's now 2 o'clock in the morning. While I was in the middle of a stand-up, the woman jumped into the... Oh, that's right. He becomes the news, huh? Spare me. Spare me. They have no electricity. To get jobs in television news, reporters make special tapes featuring what they perceive to be their best work. Stories, stand-ups, montages. This is a most competitive business filled with exceptional, but not quite normal people. Everyone who sends a tape thinks that they have it and that they should be leaving Alexandria, Louisiana, and that they should be in New York. He has a Burmese python. He weighs 120 pounds. Bag the snake, honey. Did you see that? It could be one thing for uh, a weathercaster. It could be another thing for an uh, investigative reporter. It could be another thing for a feature reporter. When I put someone on television, I want the viewer to pay attention to them and what they're saying, not on their hair, not on their jewelry. You with several national races. She does look like Miss Congeniality. You're quick. Well, it's kind of like shopping, you know? You walk into a store, you know what you're looking for and you don't have to look hard. Technically, this is a victory for Esther Padilla. If that's not Nora Dunn, I'm Santa Claus. Look at that. I don't do anything here that people don't do at home with a remote control. You go up and down the dial, and you don't stop until you see something you like. We would watch Bob Jordan scan about 60 tapes, and before you think he disliked all of them. Barbara Walters wannabe. There were several reporters who, in his opinion, do have it, especially this woman from Hartford, Connecticut. She's not ordinary. Uh, she's the kind of a person who, if she walked into the room, people would look at her. If she had something to say, you'd listen to her. And she might even get a job, because TV news, you see, while proud of its objectivity in front of the screen, can also be quite subjective about the people behind that screen. All these people down here? Well, I, I, <laughs> Till the next shopper comes along. In San Francisco, Wayne Friedman, Channel 7 News.